Mena Brea, Bira Ambrata. Do you like my Italian accent? Fucking hell. I like this brewery. I've had some of their stuff before and it was their bog standard lager. And to be honest, I thought it was better than the Peroni, certainly better than the Bira Moretti as well. And it should be because it's the oldest continuously brewing brewery in Italy. And it's based up right up in the north, in between uh, Milan and Turin or Torino if you're Italian. It's like it's like a triangle. You got um, Torino, Milan, Torino, Milan, and then this place. And it's in a little village, a little village called Baella, which is just at the foot foothills of the Italian Alps. And they make good use of that because they've got a cave that they discovered, I think it was 150 years ago, 1846, and they lager the stuff in there for a month and they use the water that flows naturally from springs and streams at the foothills of the Alps. So it's, it's got a lot going for it, but it has got some alarm bells. They do say, to their credit, that they use maize. Now maize is always an alarm bell for me, but I'll tell you something, in that last Men of Brea, you watched the last Men of Brea review on the channel, and that that was quite a good beer. I was quite impressed with that. And that's really the only, well, I'll say that's the only alarm bell. There is, they get their barley from France. Now, you know my opinions on French beer, but the barley comes from the Champagne region. Whether that makes any fucking difference at all, I have no idea. And they do make a thing about it, saying, oh, it's from the Champagne region that doesn't mean fuck all to me because champagne is made with grapes and to be honest grapes have no place in beer in my opinion anyway uh, what they do have in this beer is Hallertau hops which is a German Bavarian noble hop and if they're using that then you know they've sort of redeemed themselves a little bit in my eyes and uh, I have to say Judging by the last beer I had from them, what they do is quite good. So, let's stop guessing and let's try this out. Right, 330ml bottle, 5%. As I mentioned before, it has got the, the alarm bell of French barley and maize in it. They call it brewer's maize. Maze is fucking maze. It shouldn't be in beer, in my opinion. Uh, does it have it in this? I'm just looking at the ingredients. It's all in Italian. For fuck's sake. Aged in 30 days for a superior flavour. Or not for a superior flavour. You've got to do it if you're going to call it a lager. Using only the finest ingredients. Yeah, what are these ingredients? Ingredients, water. Yeah, they use maize. They've, they have listed it on there as well. I'm not a fan of maize in beer. Uh, Corona has it. Uh, Seoul has it, a lot of these South American breweries and a lot of these hotter climate countries that can't or don't have an abundance of barley, they make up the grist or the grain bill with maize and it is fermentable so you know it's, it's not a filler, it does have a purpose but it makes beer light in colour. But if you're brewing an amber beer, I don't know why you're putting maize in it. But that's just me. What do I know? I'm not a brewer. I'm like a eunuch in a harem. See it done every day. Know how it's done. Just can't do it myself. So there you go. Let's get this beer opened up. <laughs> it 
Now, I have just tried the Northern Monk and Lurvig collaboration, their Imperial Stout, which was like an orgy in a campsite. It was fucking intense. And I just thought I fancied something a bit lighter, so I picked this lager. And I, I actually got this from, I think it was, I think it was beer sniffers that I got this from. On, on the strength that I tried their lager and I was really impressed with it. So I thought, you know, I'll give them another crack and a whip. And I've got this. And, wow, do you know what? I can get... Oh, I can get some strange aromas from that. I have to say, the head retention on that is not bad at all. Carbonation is fair going for it. And it's an amber beer. They call it an amber beer. Or what was it? I, how did I try and pronounce it? Birra Ambrata. Fucking hell, I'll never be Italian, will I? Tell my parents were paddies. Right. There it is in the glass. What are we getting on the nose? We're getting on the nose. We're getting fucking froth. That's what we're getting. Very grainy. Like sweet grains. Almost bread-like. Hmm, and that's about it. There's a little bit of earth on there. That, that is about it. Now, amber lager, I have tried before from the, of all places, the Swedish brewery, the Piston Head Brewery. And it was quite nice, I have to say. I was quite impressed. So hopefully, this will be just as good. It's not filtered. You can see straight through it. So this is brewed on quite a big scale for, for Italy. So, you know, there's not... There's not, there isn't any floaters. Right, let's stop talking shit, get this down the hatch. I don't know what they, how they say cheers in Italy. I'm just gonna say cheers. Oh. Oh, is that that maze? Oh, it's... Oh, that, that smells... And that tastes really, really cheap. Let's try it again. Maybe the second mouthful isn't as bad. There was a metallic taste to that on the first mouthful and an almost plasticky taste as well. It's like the, the beer has reacted with the plastic from the cap. Um, okay, someone's, someone's breaking shit out there. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I'm going to need a couple of mouthfuls. There's an almost caramel malt type of flavour to it. And it's not very long lasting. Now this has come straight out of the fridge, it's cold. And... I really am in two minds about this. Once the initial fizz has gone from this, mouthfeel is quite good. Head retention, I have to say, is top drawer. That could have something to do with the, the maze that's gone into this. But it's got that, that Bier de Garde 
type flavour to it. It's it's like a wheaty, but I know there's no wheat in there. It's like a caramel malt with with other shit going on in there as well. Um, I, re I really can't make my mind up. Really don't know what to make of this. There's almost like a honey type taste to this as well. That's the, that's what I was trying to put my finger on. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a honey and sort of burnt, burnt caramel that's coming from this. And to be honest, I'm not really that impressed. I don't think this is as good as their lager. I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to, uh, trying to introduce a sort of a, a lager with a bit more flavour. You know, this is more of a, a tastier lager than your, you know, your average thirst quencher. But I just think they've got it wrong. It, it really does remind me of a Bière de Garde. It's the, you know, the, it's the honey flavour that they've got in there, but it's also got that, it's like a, an astringent caramel type flavour. There's like a wheat, a wheaty note to it, or an oaty note, but I, I just don't like it. Nah, sorry, not for me. So what's the verdict on Mena Brea, Bira and Brata? Nah, not for me, unfortunately. The lager is very nice indeed. This stuff, no, it's, I can see what they're trying to do. Now, if you want a brewery that have got amber beer right, then look at the piston head stuff, the piston head lager. That was really nice. I was really impressed with that because it had lovely caramel malt. It didn't have fucking maize in it. And it didn't have that, I don't know, that astringent, bitter, sweet type flavor to it. And I, I just think they've got this wrong. This is not for me. I am going to give this a three out of 10. And I think I'm being generous there. I'm not going to recommend it, but I will recommend their lager. The lager's good, but this stuff, nah, I just, I just don't know what they're just trying to achieve. Maybe at another time, another place, you know, on a hot day, maybe I'll be gulping that down. Not, you know, and this was ice cold, I wouldn't be thinking about the flavor, but when you actually taste what it's like, it is not that great. And I don't like that beer de garde, and that's what it's reminding me of. You know, the maize and the, the sweet. What the fuck are they barking at? Probably barking at this beer, even though they know it's a bit of dodge. But um, yeah, it's not for me. It's gonna get a, a generous three out of 10. I'm not gonna recommend it. And remember, I'm drinking this shit, so you don't have to.